Good morning, Reefers. No, I'm Daniel. And we do this every day. And today I want to show you guys um, something that's real important to me. And I kind of just want to educate you on. And a lot of beginners who rush into the hobby, I just wanted to warn you too, and the experts. Lighting is very crucial. A, a good lighting key, um, lighting um, schedule for your, your aquarium is key to the success. Because a lot of these corals will only spawn too with the proper moon cycle, which they've um, noticed is very hard to um, replicate for certain, certain corals and certain fish. But anyway, uh, we're not breeding today. But what I wanted to teach you guys is that the tissue health on a coral, if you're stressing out a coral and you got too much light, uh, which does happen, or you're leaving it on for too long, or the coral is just too close to the top of the tank, and the lights are, you know what I mean? There's certain locations that aren't, just, aren't great for every coral. So there's lanthilla will start to fade and they will start to die. But um, one of the things, this is probably by far one of the healthiest looking corals that I've seen in a while and it's grown under T5s in an established tank. So I wanna show you guys these two pieces here and just the amazing coloration of them. The tissue on it is absolutely perfectly healthy. You can just see how radiant the color of zoanthilla is. These corals are popping in my tank. Now they were grown in, like I said, a, a very well established tank with T5s which is great lighting, very easy on the corals, um, but they technically don't look like this. You know, they're under my blue LEDs right now, so they're looking pretty incredible, but they don't always look like this. So what I'm thinking is, you're better off having a T5 set up on your aquarium and then just getting some sick LEDs. I mean, I know it's expensive, but get some extra sick LEDs just to make it pop when you look at your tank. I mean, how often are you sitting in front of your tank um, most people are probably at work and their tanks home all day but you should have like T5s on during the day and then when you get home switch to your LEDs but the success and the health of these corals I mean wow this red planet is so perfect for me as I would say because the lighting hasn't burned it out and it hasn't changed the color it's not too light and it's not too dim so what happens if you have a red planet and it's getting too much light it's gonna turn pinkish, um, whitish, red. It's gonna lose a lot of the green. But if you have lower lighting, that whole red planet can turn almost green. It could lose all of its red completely. So that's a great way to judge, you know, the position of your corals too, especially the, the red planet. You know, put one of those in three different spots in your tank just to monitor your lighting. You know, not to mention the Millie, it's got great polyps that move around. The Red Planet's by far one of my most favorite acros. I mean, it's a long time favorite. So, and then this is tricolor. So the tricolor too is a beautiful coral. It's got absolutely gorgeous glowing polyps with the green to beautiful bright purple tip. So this thing is definitely worth having in your tank. And I'm gonna have some frags um, since I got a ton of these. I'm gonna post them. I'm gonna do some little small uh, acro packs for you guys today. And I'll do some bigger frag packs, um, larger colony size. Just depends on what you want, but I'll post them for you. So um, I appreciate your feedback. Let me know what you think about this. Um, sorry if I was rambling on. I just started looking at this coral and I forget what I'm doing. It is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, T5s all day and then LEDs when you get home from work at night. That's the way to go. Um, but I want to hear more from you guys. See what you have for your tanks. You all know I love the pop of the LEDs because it just makes corals fluoresce. But when you see a long-term established tank with T5s, I mean, wow, they, do, they just do exceptionally well. So there you guys go. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.